Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different episode. Uh, today I want to start like a weekly series uh, with you guys where I go through and I read some of your comments and questions uh, on my channel. I want to drive a little bit more interaction on my channel, and you guys uh, are the perfect spot to do that. You guys are absolutely awesome people, uh, and you leave a lot of really amazing comments and stuff like that. So, I thought it would be best to go ahead and do this with you guys here today. Um, I asked, uh, first off, I asked on Twitter, I figured uh, this will probably end up being like a Patreon perk or something like that, where I'll do like priority questions for patrons, and then I'll go to my YouTube comments, and then I'll go to my Twitch comments, or probably not Twitch, because, you know, Twitch is there, and then Twitter comments as well. But I asked on Twitter since, you know, I hadn't really done this before, there's no prep, um, but, uh, and I asked, you know, what do you guys want to know? Ask me some questions and we'll kind of go from there. So, uh, S Zalt, uh, S Zat, Zat 74, what made you want to become a content creator? Uh, well, for me, it was more about just wanting to entertain people. And I had always been that way throughout high school and stuff. And, uh, I had always just liked, you know, goofing off and, you know, I was in plays and stuff and I, I just liked in entertaining people, like I said. And uh, so, um, you know, I like I had done a couple of things in high school. And then when I got out of high school, um, I met someone that was doing YouTube and this was Minecraft and probably like five years ago. Uh, and, you know, he's like. Um, you know, just kind of giving it a shot and he was showing me what he was doing and everything. And so then I started getting into it. I started looking into it and all that stuff. And I was kind of flabbergasted that this was like a thing, right? It's, it's just too cool. Um, and actually I had found Slipgator. He was one of the uh, very first people that I had watched on YouTube. Uh, and one of my inspirations, if you will, um, and luckily enough, you know, he was like the very first person to ever comment on one of my videos and I've been friends with the guy ever since. And it's just one of those things. And it, it, there's numerous people throughout my career, if you will, uh, that I have really, um, been inspired by been, you know, pushed to be better by and, uh, Slipgator's always been one of those and Zuljin's always been one of those, um, you know, the, the guys are awesome and, uh, yeah. All right. Let's, uh, go ahead and move on to the next one. Thoughts on becoming a dad and potential names from who's bacon. Um, well, for those of you guys that don't know over here on YouTube, uh, me and my wife found out last week that she is pregnant. Uh, we don't know any, um, anything more than that right now. It's, it's really early. Um, a lot of people probably wouldn't announce it this early but you know hey it's our first kid we kind of do whatever we want anyway we're not typical to the social norms as you would um so yeah it's it's one of those things i don't think it's still sunk into me yet uh that this is going to be a thing but i am definitely looking forward to it i think it's going to be amazing um you know i've talked to quite a few different people about it and i, I can do nothing but smile and everything uh, when it comes to this. So, uh, and as far as potential names, we have some that we've talked about, uh, but we haven't come up with anything concrete yet. Um, and I'm not comfortable setting those out there without talking to my wife first. So we might do a video later on. Uh, from Diex uh, or Lady Die or not Lady Die, just Die. Uh, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a green Tootsie Pop? Tootsie Pop. 27 and a half. That would be the correct answer. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to comments over on YouTube. Now, these are probably going to be pertaining to a particular video. And uh, this comment came from SparkRow90, and it was on the first episode of Pugnacia. And he says, are you going to be continuing with Extinction? Um, probably not. Uh, because Pugnacia just started up and I kind of got into Extinction kind of late, uh, I think I'll probably step away from that series and probably just continue with Pugnacia and what we have going on here. There's a lot of similar mods, um, so I think it'd be really cool to... Uh, to just continue and follow on with that. Um, I'm really hyped for this. I got to start with the guys and everything, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, but um, yeah, that's uh, that's what is going to happen with Extinction.
Nation. Uh, next up comes Garrett Carrier uh, on the same video, on the, the Pugnacia video. Drax, you should do more like this with all the mods and stuff. I really live, uh, love watching your videos. My girlfriend just broke up with me, and your videos keep a smile on my face. Well, thank you very much for uh, letting me know that you're, that my videos keep a smile on your face. That makes me feel wonderful. Uh, but, you know, as far as, like, all the mods and stuff like that, you know, I think... A lot of what my burnout was before is I was just constantly doing these these series like this uh, over and over and over and over again. And so this time around, you know, I'm really enjoying ARC. I'm really having a ton of fun with it. And so I don't necessarily want to get into that same burnout. So I'm, I'm going to keep modded series to one. We'll keep a vanilla, vanilla-ish series to another. And then we'll probably start mixing in some more games uh, here and there. But uh, I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm having fun. You guys are having fun. And uh, yeah, that's that's what the main goal here is. Uh, next up is uh, on episode 16 of the Scorched Earth series from Dale Whiteman. Yo, Drax, you should tame two of every dino on Scorched Earth, one female, one male, so you can get eggs. That's what I'm doing on the island vanilla, trying to anyway. Nearly done. Oh, my old base. Uh, done that on my old base, maybe? When the update came, my whole base was wiped out and gotta do it again. Sad face. Ouch! That sucks, Dale. But hey, um, my, that's probably one of my goals uh, with this is probably something similar to that. Uh, though I don't really need kibble because of a lot of our rates on our server are like really, really high. And, you know, because we're, we're YouTube content creators, you know, we don't want to spend three days making one video just taming a Rex or a Bronto or something. Uh, so I don't know if kibble is necessary on a lot of different things, but I do want to kind of get into a little bit of kibble and whatnot. But um, thank you very much, Dale. And this one, let's see, do I have any more from 16? I don't have any more from 16, so let's go to 15. Uh, this one's from Michael Wilder or... Is that Michael? I think that's Michael Wilder. If not, uh, I apologize. Uh, and it says, The songs were cringy but funny. Great video, Drax. Uh, great vid, Drax. Uh, thank you. I, if you guys don't know this, I sing a lot. If you guys come over to my Twitch streams, I sing all the time. And it's not like I'm actually a good singer or anything like that. I just kind of come up with stuff on the spot and just let it fly. So, yeah, they're cringy as all crap. But, hey, you know, I enjoy doing it. I have fun with it. So that is what I do. Uh, let's step back another one on episode 14. Mitch Alum. Drax, I love how you use third person in your videos. I know it's a nuanced thing, but I really enjoy it. Keep up the great work and positive attitude. That's why I keep coming back. Uh, thank you, Mitch. Uh, yeah, the third person thing was something I didn't really do a lot in the past, but uh, it kind of... Um, came up when I was started doing RP on uh, SKRP, the Seven Kingdoms Roleplay server. Um, a lot of people would use third person because it's a it's much more of an RP feel when you're doing that. Uh, so that's some that's a, a major reason why I uh, continue to do that third person thing. And you know I do mix it up when I'm like shooting my gun or anything. I need to do first person, but. You know, hey. Uh, next up on the same video, Brent Miles. Every video has a sandstorm. Q de rude. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty clever there, Brent. Thanks for watching, Brett. Uh, Brent. You have been around for a long while. Uh, thank you very much for your comment. Um, brr, 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 brr. That was 14. All right, so here we go. Uh, episode 13 from Josh TGW. With the way the electri electrical storm look on a scorched earth wild card should consider adding a tornado that would actually be pretty cool i think that would be an interesting little thing uh if they added configs for it that if uh you know that if they did a tornado that it could like slowly damage materials over time uh but not anything like higher than stone so like if you were in wood or any of that stuff you know the the tornado would probably damage you pretty bad uh, and if you were unfortunate enough to have the tornado completely come over your house, you know, it would do like a multiplier of damage type of situation. But uh, I thought that was that would be a pretty cool thing. I, I appreciate that. Uh, on episode 12 of the Scorcher series, I'm kind of just going through a lot of these videos and just pulling comments. So I don't really have uh, a lot of different comments or a lot of different videos. But if you guys want to make sure you leave something in this uh, description of this video or comment section... 
Oh, I'm talking too fast. And if you want to leave something in the comment section of this video, then, um, you know, I'll do my best to answer it next week whenever I do this next Sunday. But from Sean Cardona, Drax, loving the series. Are you looking forward to the new DLC? For me, it looks awesome. A big change in the game, and I will for sure buy it. For the server, did you guys buy a new server or buy a server or your own? Um, well, as far as the server is concerned, we are hosted my Logic servers. Links in the description down below if you want to get your own server through Logic servers. Um, and I'm not just saying this because they host our, our, our servers, but um, they're by far the best host out there as far as what you can do with the control panel and stuff. Uh, it is just by far leaps and bounds uh, better than what I've experienced in the past. Now I haven't done anything recent with other hosts because we've had this one, but that might not be a bad idea for a video is like maybe revisit, um, you know, some of these hosts and see what I think now after arc has been out for a long time. Uh, but yes, I am very much looking forward to the DLC between the wingsuits, the climbing, uh, pickaxes and, um, the zip lines were really cool. The flying dragon thing that could climb on walls and go invisible. That was pretty sweet. So I am definitely looking forward to that. Uh, episode 11 of Scorched Earth. So, Drax, for the Thyla, why risk it by going home? You had a bear with you. You could easily gather narco berries around the cat uh, down. I'm not half as organized as you, so I need to improvise a lot. And berry gathering on the spot is one of them. Just saying, nice video though. Uh, Tirana Bell, thank you very much for your comment. Um, really, I might have forgot that the bear could harvest berries. Maybe just a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's it's one of those things that I, I get it in my head that I need to do something, and I forget about the other options. You know, hey, it's just one of those things. You're in the moment and you just need to to get something done. And that's what, unfortunately uh, what happens. So sorry, that was it. Uh, so, yeah, that is uh, that is the comments commenting on comments, comment, commentary. I don't know what you're what I'm going to call this. You'll probably see it in the title. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the videos and coming back. If you guys haven't already, uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, if you want to get notifications on when I upload, uh, use the little bell on the home page and, you know, make sure you get those notifications. The way my internet here is in Oklahoma right now, it's pretty sporadic, so my timing is not always on point uh, with when videos are going to be released. Uh, so, you know, it's just unfortunately one of the things that I have to uh, deal with until I can get it sorted. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, leave a comment down below with a question of your own. Uh, or, you know, just continue, uh, hit that like button and continue watching, guys. Thanks so much, and I will see you in the next video.